What's going on folks? DK finally continuing back back to the main story of Kevin Cooper's story. Uh we're on mission 16 now. We left off on mission 15, then continued to two bonus maps, and now we're back to mission 16. Purge. After two weeks of purging infested cities and towns, the righteous has finally restored its planet back to normal again. Almost. Purge. It's gonna be a long one. Lieutenant, it's great to see you back from your intermission. I called you here today because I want you to meet Commander Reynolds. Hello, Lieutenant. I am Commander Reynolds from Bolar. The reason I wanted to see you today is because your commander will be promoted to a, to a captain in about a week or so. This means you will be transferred to another commander. Coincidentally, my captain ordered me to relocate all my troops here on Lexar. I have discussed with Commander Kinsley and we have agreed you will officially be placed under my command starting tomorrow. Yes, Lieutenant. This may seem sudden, but I will be transferred to our tour too once I become a captain. This is why I wanted you to know in advance that Commander Reynolds will guide you under his command from now on. That is not the only reason why I want to see you, Lieutenant. Yes. While you are off from your duties, our organization performed de-infestations throughout the continent. Thanks to the help of the enhanced firemats, our efforts have tripled in progress. However, there is one section of land left that needs to be purged before the renegade experience grows in size again. You will travel to Banks and kill all the experiments there. According to my sergeant, the people there are already beyond help. Pardon, Commander, but... What do you mean they are beyond help? I mean that they are infested, Lieutenant. And there are more bad news, Lieutenant. Right now, all of our vehicles, ships, and specialists have been transferred to one of our space platforms for a high level talk with the Lusk. This means that you will only have infantry supports for this task. Do not worry, Lieutenant. You will not be working alone on this assignment. I have already sent my trusted officer to oversee the surroundings before you get there. I am sure you already know him. Well, Lieutenant, I already have high hopes that you will accomplish this task without major difficulties. See to it as this will be my final order as your commander. Lieutenant, before you go, see my engineers. They'll gladly help you modify your weapon and suit. Commander Reynolds, out. Yep, so we gotta do this. That means we get Mother Effing Rainer. Jimmy Rainer, GM. What do you need? Okay, oops, so the game speed. We have some regular fire bats. And this time we have Kevin Cooper. With his stats upgraded, 150 HP, more HP, and more damage. 21 damage. Same base armor, bro. Okay. Yeah, reason why I'm heading over here is because there's like uh, extra resources. This is why when you're playing a campaign, it's always good to like, you know, explore your map and surroundings. So just explore. Take your time and explore. So yeah, that's just one. There's 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 no secret in this mission, but and then we have to meet up with GM who's over here. And we can't go over here yet. I blocked off the path with with Dark Templar Wall, so that means I have to rescue these guys here first. Hey, hey GM. I heard from Commander Reynolds that you'll be stationed here from now on. Haha, <laughs> yeah! My commander's HQ moved to this planet. But I also heard that you're gonna be working for him. But man, I just can't get used to this weather. It must be strange for you. Yeah. I can't believe I've been here for over two weeks now. 
I kind of miss the cold weather. On the bright side, I get to work alongside with you from now on. I get to work. Good to have you, GM. So, what's your status? Scout the area around here and there is an abandoned base past the bridge. Before we head there, I think we should clean up some experiments to the west. West? Yeah, just a few of them. It's not going to be easy with just us. It's fine, Kevin. I brought an inferno here. He'll roast the experiments for lunch. You mean the United Farbat? Ready to barbecue some experiments, sirs. Let's get to it then. So yeah, this is the f this is the official introduction to the Inferno unit. Same stats as the bonus one. If you didn't do the bonus one, that means this is the first time in this campaign that an Inferno is introduced. And there is also another mineral and gas node. It's good for us. And now we just need to clear up the the stuff. Yeah, destroy the remaining experiments over here to the west. And GM also got a stats upgrade. He got more HP, a lot more HP than before, and a little bit buff in damage, and a and two base armor this time. But anyway, let's let's continue our way here. So in case you don't know, Infernals are a better version of Firebat, extra base armor, and more damage, and more HP of course. And we also get, um, we start with our uh, steam upgrade, fortunately. And as you can hear from the Nidus sound, the Zerglings are spawning from there. Like over here and there. So it's in our best interest to destroy the Nidus canals first, but yeah. And the reason I, why I placed the Overlord here is just to make it look like the Overlord is like controlling this section of the Zerg area. Okay, now he won't spawn anymore. And yeah, Kevin Cooper doesn't have cloak and lockdown for this mission. Because it's a prototype. Uh, he's gonna explain soon. That new weapon of yours sure packs a punch! Ha ha ha! I see you noticed. My new suit is more durable as well. Unfortunately, since this suit is still a prototype, I can't utilize the cloaking ability. Same with my new weapon, lockdown device. Yeah, <laughs> let's get going, shall we? Okay, let's save. Now we just need to head over there. Get to rescue more units. Oh, and then in case you're wondering what this save is, Santa Boy, that's I did a test play for the first mission, and I think I'm gonna upload that after this video and there is a supply depot over here but I strongly recommend not risking that because I set a trigger that if you go if you get too close to the supply depot it's gonna summon uh, divine ones the hero zergling units so gotta be careful with that okay there's a divine one here Set up a solid defense out here. Let's get to work. Don't forget to place some of our fire vats onto that modification beacon. We'll be able to use those infernos and free up some existing supplies. Okay, and then the reason why that academy exploded was just me like trolling the player. It was a, it was bound to happen. 
But anyway, we need to. Our very first priority is to set up a set up an engineering bit. And I also uh, disable the AI from using plague and spawn brew, because otherwise it would have made it too hard. But there are two AIs here. They're both like colored green, but they're separate AIs. So two AIs, and they um they're all set to they're all set to difficult level. So what that means is that what that means is. The mission is going to get harder and harder if you drag on. But for now, it's not too bad. Oh boy, they're, they're attacking that way too fast, actually. This is going to be a pain. Yeah, that, those are divine ones. That's why they just shredded my units just now. So that's what happens when the supply depots like explode from there. But yeah, now that we got that covered, we need to set up more fortification here. We're gonna put a bunker a bit like here. So as you can see, this this mission is gonna be a bit pain, a bit pain in the butt. But for now, we really need to just gather a lot of uh, minerals and scratch that about me saying, you know, like they won't use broodlings, they will actually, but not play, yeah, not play. And I think not instead. I think it was the other way around, like. Ensnare made it even harder or something, so I kind of removed that. But anyway. So we have a lot of resources for the time being, so we just need to just play cool. And eventually load up my units there. And make an academy. And we need to take this expand ASAP before the AI mines it up. That's our only reliable source of additional income. There's another one over here, but it's got, it's very it's not recommended because there's a lot of like Zerg buildings here. Infestation is pretty high on this side, so. So basically, head down to the west side first and clear out this area. But for now, we we'll just need to just macro up and get an academy sometime soon. And weapons. But yeah, get an academy soon. Like now. And make more SCVs if possible. Last the supply depot by the hordes of zerglings and divine ones earlier. So, and this is the modification where we can place firebats to upgrade and up to upgrade those firebats into infernos. The infernos cost 25 additional minerals and investment gas, and takes six seconds to to become an inferno. But you can press escape to skip the the six seconds. Because I've used a weight trigger instead of a death count timer. So it's like what I said in the bonus mission, bonus one mission. So nothing too unusual there. Okay, it's time to make a factory. So in the mission briefing, um, Commander Reynolds said that 
we won't get any tank like vehicles, ships, or specialist units. So that means we won't have ghost specialists. And we can't make any units from the factory or the starport. But yeah. Uh, We want to make some fire bats too and an extra barracks, one or two extra. So this is the minerals that I was talking about and I set up a lot of uh, triggers, like spawn triggers for this mission. So if you get too close to like this area, this ultralisk cavern is going to keep spawning ultralisk. Kind of like how it was for over here for the Nidus Camels. And as you can see, we can't make anything here, no add-ons, no units available, so this is just basically worthless. It's just to get to science facility to get our upgrades. We, st we still can upgrade five times, so that's what it matters. Five times for our body units. Okay, it's time to make another barracks here. Another supply depot. Probably load in like a unit or two. We're gonna type with this force. I think to make another SUV, I guess. And another engineering bay. I wanna upgrade simultaneously both armor and weapons. So that means we need to stockpile some gas a bit. And it's recommended to get uh, the extra 50 medic energy for this mission. Alright, they're attacking with... That's uh, another triggered attack here. Okay, tanking with the Inferno like this. And using our high ground advantage. Those are infested ghosts. Same 10 damage as a ghost, but more HP. Basically. Okay, it's time to make a science facility here. We can also lift this off. We want to block this area actually. And make another engineering bay. And start pile stockpiling gas. Okay, yeah, so that, yeah, the queen just used a spawn brewing on my poor SCB. Okay, let's keep repairing that. Oh, gosh. Oh, okay, they're fine. Looks like I'll need to make a, a missile turret there, too. Oh gosh, sent the, uh, sent the infested turn just now there. So it's getting a very hectic right now, but it's, it's, it's given. As long as we can upgrade, we need to maintain our upgrades. Uh, upgrades are very important before venturing over here. If you play too slop, if you play too hastily, it's going to get even worse. So basically just... Basically just a uh, mass, you know, take our time operating and whatnot. And yeah, and then it should be fine. Okay, we'll put, we'll put a medic to upgrade our units here. This is just a blockage, so I know that if, if the AI like attacks from down here, I'll know before that. And yeah, yeah, as you can see, the AIs are upgrading. See, this one has one armor, this one has two armor, it's to indicate that some of the... There are two different AIs. It's the main base here and another main base here. Look at that infestation here, folks. And another one thing about this mission's difficulty is that there's lurkers. So, we have to be very careful with how we're handling our... How we're handling our um, units. Because lurkers are the counters to bio units. 
which means we have to use our scans carefully because we can't make science vessels too so this this mission is for veteran players I, I have to say this this mission is hard I'll be just honest like right now so yeah I should like say I should say my energy a little bit more but yeah, it's, it's what ifs. Okay, we'll make another barracks here. Okay, they're sending in the big, big boys now. Oh, it should be fine. Okay, let's lure the units down here. Oh, okay, that's not good. Okay, there you go. Okay, I think I saw a defiler there. Yeah, okay, there you go. Okay. Let's put in more units. Yeah, I'm gonna actually bring an inferno there. All right, just need we need more we need more minerals now. So I'm gonna just put more SCVs into the mineral fields and wait for my minerals. Uh, save up. Okay, what happened to my inferno there? Okay, start upgrading here. Okay, let's see. Let's keep repairing like so. Okay, here's our fire, but okay, we are two, two, two now. It's a good time to save. Let's see how it's over here. They're still mining. They're mining a bit fast than I expected, but. We're gonna attack relatively soonish though, I guess. We can always like loop back if if I play pretty bad or whatever. Okay, see that there's the lurker, so we have to like pull out and stuff like that. And focus fire the lurkers like this. And careful about the units over there. All right, let's, let's get back a bit. Now that, that's okay, I guess. That was I could've, it could have been better, to be honest. Anyway, let's keep rolling in here. Save. Now that we attacked here, we aggro the AI. They're gonna. There should be a bunch of. In, there should be a bunch of lurkers there. Okay, we all also need another medic or two. Okay, let's keep repairing here. Did I upgrade my energy? Okay, uh -oh. So medics start with extra 15 energy when they spawn instead of 50 energy, they start with 65 energy I think. Alright, let's let's try to head down. We need to take care of this space like sometime soon. Just gotta avoid all the Dark Swarm and the shenanigans. Okay, it's time to stockpile on gas again for upgrades. So gotta be careful with that. So 
soul. Like that. We need the fire rat to clean up, clean up the zerlings here. Like that. All right, we gotta head back now. Yeah, that was that was. I guess it could have been worse, but we're we're three upgraded now, ish. Oh gosh, they have dark swarm. All right. Pull out. Okay, let's keep upgrading. Yeah, I'm running low on gas because I'm like level four upgrades that are gas heavy. And we're also, you know, making fire bats too, so, with medics, so. Okay, let's go in here. So it's gonna be a matter of patience. Okay, we gotta pull out like that. Gotta focus by the guardians here. Try to leave those units there. Okay, we have our comps at energy for lurkers. It's time to head down here again. We need to take that base. We're also mining our main base a bit fast. Looks good. Focus fire like that. We need to reinforce here. Okay, wait for the dark swarm to wear out. It's time to save. Perfect timing here. Imagine if we had the UED medics, they can restore our restore our units from instantly and whatnot. But that isn't the case. Focus fire, the lurkers down. They're gonna keep sending reinforcements like this. Okay, looks good. And with some spare with minerals here. Our units are strong because we're three we're three three. Okay, lure out. Okay, there we go. Okay, what's going on here? Okay, they're mad. Okay, how's over here? Okay, we need to bring a Medicare, I mean an SUV, instead of a fortification.
Okay, let's put in our heroes. Oh, whoops. That, that was bad. Bad hockey there. Yeah. Okay, this should be fine. Whoa, whoa, not like this, man. Notice how I'm like waiting and then attacking at the same time. And I need to make a mister just for just to get the detection rolling in. Okay, we'll take care of that spore colony here to get rid of the creep. And meanwhile we'll make more units here like so. Upgrade into Infernos, more medics. Okay, looks good, looks good. And we can either make another command center here or lift our main command center to here, but I'm gonna make another command center. Once this creep resides. So I'll make a bunker here too. Like, like right there. And this, they're gonna keep sending the drone to try to claim their expansion. Okay, let's make another missile trip. Put in our marines here. And work our way from here. Okay. Alright, yeah, let's just attack. Okay, let's save again. We're 4 4 now. We can upgrade our last 5 upgrades, which I've been doing. And our gas depleted, but we have our new resource here. New gas here, I mean. But we don't need gas anymore. We're, we just, we're more concerned with minerals. <coughs> Excuse me, minerals. So, yeah. Uh, and anyway, looking good here. It's good thing we have the beefier infernos, beefier firebat version. Helps tank, you know, helps against Zerg a lot. Okay, I'm gonna lose some of these units here. And another good thing about that is... Another good thing about the inferno is that it, it removes that extra supply. So we can keep making infernos without worrying about... Without worrying about uh, supply, or like getting more supplies, supply block. Oh goodness, they they went, they just went on an attack. Okay. A lot of something colonies here, but so there's gonna be a unit spawning over here co consistently. So we want to destroy that too, if possible. It's gonna summon divine ones and grooming, so so we wanna go there and clean them up. But it's a good thing we have infernos tanking up the divine ones. And meanwhile, over here, we're just gonna keep making more units like this. Okay, we clear we cleaned up the Nidus canal, so now it won't spawn any additional units. It's triggered. Okay, we're in a good spot right now. Okay, rendezvous back there again. Okay, don't need to repair that anymore. Okay. So the only difficult part about this mission is... 
is the early part, like where the Zerg like just attack like all at once and whatnot. Okay, we have our hotkey one, two. I'm gonna hotkey our heroes three. I'm gonna bring my. I'm gonna use my heroes later once we clean up the main area, the top, top left over here. Okay. I'm now our five fire upgrade is almost done. Once that happens, I'm gonna go out. And yeah, for now everything looks looking good. I'm gonna just move my size facility here to free up space. Okay, and then consistently repair that bunker over there. Yeah, we're looking good here. Okay, I think our upgrade's done. So we should be in a better spot. Keep getting infernals too. We need infernals later on for um for against ultras. See now we can't upgrade more. This campaign is limited to five upgrades for our body units. So Anyway, let's let's continue here like that. You get that amount of sunk powers. That's a scripted uh, triggered attack. Infested ghost attacking. It's gonna summon more too in the Nidus Canal and uh, Infested Commander, but we're not get spotted now. Okay, let's go. See, it's gonna summon hunter killers and divine ones. So we're gonna focus down this Nidus Canal. Like so. We're very strong with our five upgrades. Oh boy, I was like worried too about this mission, like whether I should like restart or not. And some of the infested ghosts like use cloak. So gotta be careful with that. Okay, let's keep going here. Meanwhile, while that's happening, we're gonna keep making units here. And reinforce. I suppose. Okay, so I shouldn't be able to finish this mission in like, in like, I should say, in 15 minutes? Okay, that was just a uh, trigger, like, spawning infested, six infested terror once we destroy that infested commander. And over here spawns Ultralisk. So we gotta get rid of that. And we're like, yeah. And if you're wondering, oh DK, how do we get over here? There's no ramp or anything. Well, if you see my um, non comfortable version, you'll you'll know. But there's like ad additional mission objective that we have to consider. Okay, now I'm gonna attack this middle part area. You don't need to venture too too top topish. Okay, let's go, go, go. Okay, looking good. Look at that, look at that. We have our Infernos backing up our main Marine forces. Our Marines are already very beefy too, because of the five upgrades. Okay. Oh, 
Boy, what is this? Okay, and then as you can hear from the night itself, it's spawning units left and right. It's triggered. Okay, we lost more units than I expected, but it's fine. You can help, help out. Okay, let's get that Nidus coming out so he won't it won't spawn divine ones. And let's help out our bros. Cutting up cutting them off from sending more reinforcements. We have a lot of medics actually, we don't need more medics. So like if I press escape like this, it's gonna just automatically spawn the infernos this fast. Okay, we'll make more infernos. Okay, we'll make our way like like there. We're gonna clean up all this area first. So I'm gonna make another barracks here. I can't move like some of some of the SMEs to here, I guess. Okay, let's go like that. So yeah, I learned my first lesson. I think I uploaded like for my non-commentary version. I uploaded a fail video of this where I like struggled trying to keep up with the Zerg. But now I'm more, I'm a better player than I used to be. That and of course I know like what what to expect. Okay, let's lure the. Let's lure the guardians down a bit. Like so? Yeah, you see, like, this cavern is summoning Ultralis non stop. So we have to, like, focus fire that down. Now you won't sp spawn any more Ultralis, and that's another expand that we can take. Okay, let's rendezvous with the remaining sets of Marines and Infernals. We have to basically clear out all this stuff, all the Zerg buildings. Destroy the remaining experiments, yeah. Like so. I heard a lurk assault. Looks good. You may you might be wondering, oh DK, this mission doesn't seem that bad. Well I learned my lesson how to play how to play effectively. Gotta be kinda patient for the first ten to fifteen minutes. So the way I'm playing is more systematic. 
I also defeated this mission by attacking the right side first before going over here, but it made it a, a bit harder in my opinion, so. So I recommend attacking the left side first and then I'll just and see what happens from there. So this infested command center just spawns infested ghosts, triggered again. Okay, let's go, go, go! So I, I, I kind of want this mission to be a bit unique, and this is the last uh, like arc or saga, I should say, of. Handling the experiments. Then we're gonna be moving on to a different focus. I'll leave some units here just in case they attack. Alright, we gotta we gotta we gotta get back a bit. It's time to bring our heroes. I'll make a bunker here to action, just in case. And a supply depot. Okay, this place is getting mined out a little bit. We can expand here later, and it's un unnecessary at the moment. Okay, now it's time to attack the main Zerg Hive base. The infestation. Okay, we have our heroes here. 47 kills! 35! Yeah, our heroes been kind of busy too. I should stop making medics actually more. I need more. I need more offensive men. Oh, that was close. Okay, let's see. Let's put our melee units in front, our heroes in the middle. Okay, who else is coming to join the fight? Okay, let's go. And I always have our scanner right here. What the hell is that thing? Whatever it is, we should not wait to find out. This is why I don't like banks, this backwater place. Said the Marine. Okay, a lot of lurkers here. Nothing our Marines can handle, hopefully. Okay, we got more units here. 
I must say no. We need more reinforcements here. Oh boy, that infest terror. Terror. We still have our energy on our first command. Uh, command. Uh, ca not command. Ca combat station. We're fine. I I feel so pumped up for some reason. Maybe it's because I'm graduating tomorrow. Okay, I did not see that one coming though. Let's go help our buddies. Look at it, look at it. You see this? Okay. This is why we can't have nice things. Okay, let's let's rendezvous. We lost all our fire vests. Died in combat to save our marines. I should say infernals actually, but Let's set up another bunker here, I guess. Oh gosh, they destroyed my comp set. We just need to clear out the top right now. Oh gosh! Alright, let's do this. Gosh, missing because of the tree do that just now. Okay, let's bring in, bring in our fire bat boys. Okay, this place is fine. I'm slowly losing minerals here. I might need to expand there. Okay, our melee units are coming. We need we need them to tank the front lines. Okay, let's go. Like so? Bro, GM, careful. Mother of God! Who? Jimmy! Fall back! Get back! It's fine, she does pathetic amount of damage. They never told me about this. Just who was that infested person? She used to be my acquaintance. I'm sorry about that, GM. Man, it's alright, Kevin. I'm just surprised is all. Let's get this mission over with. Goodness gracious, that lurker though. Okay, where are you getting attacked now? Alright, that's fine. Oh gosh, Jimmy, no! Alright. I learned my lesson. Well, you get to read the dialogue again. No, actually, and Yeah, let's put the brakes down a bit. Uh, I think I'm gonna hotkey the rest. So this gotta be four, this gotta be five, and uh, this gotta be six. All right, make it make things faster, I guess. Ooh. 
Yeah, destroy that chrysalis. I, I nerfed her, to be honest. And this is, by the way, a classic Jim, James Rayner and Sarah Kerrigan reference. But it was never meant to be, which should have been like so. Alright, let's save here. Goodness gracious here, folks. Let's get, let's get back a bit. I mean, I think it's time to start mining over there or something. We got, we got the amount of lurkers. That takes care of that. Too many lurkers at the moment. Better than I expected, though. Okay, I got micro bit. Okay, looks good here. I'm gonna save. We lost a bunch of units here, but. Yeah, I am finally gonna lift this command center to here. Okay, finally. Okay, let's lift our barracks a bit closer. We'll leave two barracks here then. They're gonna keep sending reinforcements though. You see how, how many times they're sending their lurkers and ultralists? Okay, this medic lost energy, we're gonna send her back. Okay, we just need to destroy that. We just need to destroy that, uh... What you call it? Woo! It's getting a bit hot in here. Scan. Okay, we got our reinforcements. They're gonna keep sending, um, whatchamacallit, 
the ultralist, but we're fine at the moment. I'm gonna move this medic out. Low energy medic. Okay, let's go. Okay, finally broke through. Okay, let's put our SCVs in there. Okay, let's focus fire this hatchery. Our marines do 11 damage per hit. So that, that means 10 damage per... 10 damage against buildings per, per shot. That's pretty outrageous if you think about it. Wow, they even rebuilt a spire there. Wow. And in case you're wondering, oh, how did what what is this unique terrain here? Um, that's that's from SEN Draft Two, uh, the tile set. So it makes your it makes the player or the AI like build Zerg units if there's like a tile set like this. Okay, we're almost done now. We're like 85 percent done. Just gotta take care of this. After we destroy all these buildings here, okay, it looks good. Twenty six damage per hit, sixteen damage, like a zealot. Okay, finally did it. Okay. Did I forget a building or two? Oh, right there, a spore colony. <laughs> Look at that, look at that, look at those overlords scared of my, scared of us. We're almost done clearing out the experiments here. Keep it up, soldiers. Hey, sir, how are you gonna get them experiments on the hill? He's referring to the experiments to the northwest, and he's right, Kevin. We don't have any ways to get up there. We will have to improvise somehow. Wait, I'm picking up something from the southeast side. What could that be? Those are not ordinary guardians. What? What do you do now? This is Commander Reynolds. I was able to direct some of the privateer pilots to help you there. I hope they are not too late. Your timing is impeccable, Commander. <laughs> that is good to hear, Lieutenant. I am also sending a few dropship pilots there in case something else happens. Carry on with your mission. Reynolds out. Commander Reynolds out. Look at all these crazy ass Kokoza guardians. It's a good thing Commander Reynolds sent our privateers just in time. We get our dropship too. But yeah, look at them. They're decimating our original main base. Those privateers made it just in time. 
We can finally clear the experiments to the northwest side with the dropships too. Make sure we do not lose all of our dropships. <coughs> you got it, Kevin. At least one dropship must survive. Okay, now it's it was invulnerable just earlier on, but now it's not. That happens once we clear out all the Kokosa Guardians. So now we just use these dropships to get to over here. Okay, I'm gonna use the privateers to clear out those fresh overlord for some meat. So if we lose all our dropships, then game over. Game over. And seeing as how we can't even make more units. Oh boy, they cleared out the overlords very fast. Okay, I'm gonna start making supply depot just in case something happens. Okay, let's get this pesky mutilus. Yeah, basically just deleted that unit. Hakai that unit out of existence. And now it's time to get over here. Okay, it's time. Look at that. Privateer is the only 5 damage. Base 5 damage, but. They're very strong in big numbers like this. Okay, let's see. Let's put more units here. In the end, our fire bats paid off. And it was our Marines turn to shine. Our marines are as tanky as our firebends, since they're five. They are five armor though. But yeah, we we really need we really needed those beefy firebend units, infernals, to tank up the zerg units early on, pre-upgrade. But they did their job, so and that should be it. Mission complete. Purge process complete. Took over a bit over an hour. Fine, I guess. Woo! Oh boy, talking and playing this mission at the same time. Oh, that was just. I was very ambitious, I guess. But yeah, see you there. These are the last experiments on Planet Lexa. Now that they're cleaned up, there should be no more infestations going out. The infestation that started by Daryl Jones in Gucciton but yeah it's all over now and the next next video for KCS is gonna be Interlude 3 so I hope you guys enjoy watching that one but yeah